What you'll need for this is a roll-off cog checker, which uh, they only sell as 9-speed, a SRAM gold power link, a chain tool, and a piece of 10-speed chain that has been left over from uh, when I installed a 10-speed chain on one of my bikes. Uh, notice that the 10-speed uh, has two full links and two half links. I've co colored it uh, red with some nail polish so I can distinguish that this is uh, the 10-speed as opposed to what I'm going to remove. When you remove from the cog checker, count over three pins, one, two, three. I've partially removed this pin already, so I can show you which one I'm removing. Moving this pin, and with my chain tool, I can either go through and remove the complete pin, or just move it enough so I can snap it out. Now all I have to do is reconnect the portion of 10-speed uh, chain on my 9-speed cog checker. Insert the gold SRAM link. Pull tight. Now I have a 10-speed cog checker. Uh, the reason I use the SRAM gold link instead of, which is for 9-speed, instead of the 10-speed uh, uh, SRAM black link is that the gold link is easier to take out or put on so I can switch back and forth between the 9 and 10-speed uh, cog checker.